So one of the coolest things about a Tic Tac is you can create speed, generate speed over spots of like sidewalk that are dirty or someone took like some water or it was raining and dumped some water in front of you just like that. And then they did that. And then basically you had to get around it without getting your awesome brand new shoes wet. So basically you just did your Tic Tac right over that thing. And what do you know? Check it out. My shoes are dry. And this is how a Tic Tac on a skateboard for beginners, freestyle trick tip. So the Tic Tac is actually creating momentum of, off one side of the skateboard by picking it up and then swinging it to the other side and then pushing off each side going left and right creating momentum. And it's actually a freestyle trick and this is what it is. You use your upper body and it's like a timing technique and this is actually a freestyle trick. Yo guys, make sure when you're learning how to Tic Tac and learning new tricks, you always wear a helmet and safety gear. When you're trying to Tic Tac, is this your problem? Do you start going backwards? If that is your main problem, maybe the reason for that is you're leaning too far back on your back foot and you need to lean forward and need to push off each turn, creating momentum, going against gravity, back side to front side using that shoulder and time, timing technique back and forth in a rhythm to create momentum. Make sure you know how to do up downs while you're moving. A lot of times when you're learning how to do the up downs and trying to learn how to do the tic tac, you wanna learn how to bail off your tail and when you slide out, you just kinda of like catch yourself from falling backwards. So that's why it's important to have your momentum going forward and you don't wanna lean completely backwards. Also, make sure you have your backside and frontside carving turns down. Know how to do backside kick turns on flat ground. And make sure you get your frontside kick turns down on flat ground also. Learn how to manual one or two parking plate, uh, spaces will really increase your chances of learning how to do Tic Tac. One way you know you get good at doing your kick turns is when you can create momentum by going around in a circle by dropping that front shoulder swinging your weight around in that pocket. And then when you do the front side flat ground kick turn, it's gonna be a little bit harder. You gotta look over your shoulder and you get momentum as you go around that turn. You can see as I'm going down the hill, it creates momentum. That's like the first building block of learning how to do the tic tac. Just learn how to do them circles and you create momentum as you go around the circle and that's how you do the tic tac because you're creating momentum from one side, toe edge to the front side, to back to the toe. My foot placement for the tic tac, I like to have my tail slightly angled on the back up on the tail when it just starts to go up. And I like to have my front foot right over those top first two screws. And this it makes it easy for me to push down my tail and do my up downs and then go right and left, creating momentum doing the tic tac. Woo! Yo guys, and this is actually the third video on how to turn for beginners. So if you wanna get a lot better at like your front side turns, like kick turns on flat ground, just click below. There'll be a video in there that explains all about how to do kick turns on flat grounds and that'll help your turning a lot. So just check that out below. Make sure you practice the Tic Tac stationary on a carpet. First you wanna go do the backside turn first of it. So you put a pressure, so you put pressure on your toes and you push down the tail and then you swing your arm right and then the skateboard will follow as you push down the tail. And then go back to the little trick here. You're gonna apply pressure to the heels. You're gonna look over that shoulder and then you're gonna push down the tail and pick up the front end as you swing your arm left. The front end's gonna go back and you're gonna follow. And then just back and forth. And make sure you keep your front shoulder down. Yo, Tic Tacs are one of the coolest tricks to learn skateboarding. They're gonna open up so many things for you like how to ollie, how to get up curbs, how to get down curbs. But one awesome power tip of learning how to like do your Tic Tacs when you first learn how to do them is by once you push off your backside turn to your frontside turn, you can actually just do them nice and slow and keep your shoulder down. And that's gonna really help you learn how to like create momentum by like shifting your weight back and forth and trying to get the right timing. So one cool like trick tip after you learn how to 
through your turns and your kick turns on flat ground is you can just practice kind of like pushing with your front foot and then pushing off that toe back to the heel side and then pushing off that heel back to the toe side and kind of just like pushing off the bottom of your feet. So that's what you kind of do when you, each time you do the tic tac, you push off each edge of the skateboard, you just push off that toe edge back to the heel edge, push off that heel back to the toe, creating momentum, pivoting off your back foot, which is kind of just chilling there and your weight's kind of there. And you're lifting that front end up, using that arm. Follow, lower half's gonna follow as you swing this arm, lower half follows. Yo, I almost forgot, stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna show you this awesome tip that's gonna really help your skating and your riding. And it's gonna make you a whole different skater. So check that out, don't miss that. Yeah, so scientifically speaking, well, I bet you guys didn't know I had glasses, but yeah, scientifically speaking. All right, scientifically speaking here, guys, what you gotta do is have your weight on that toe edge and you're gonna cross your hand and your arm and your shoulder this way and you pick your front end up, and end up, it's gonna follow that to the heel side. And you're gonna do the same thing back, cross your arm back and your board's lower half's gonna follow. And what this is, it's gonna create momentum going back and forth. It's also the timing technique and a rhythm of just following your hand and your shoulder and your lower half will follow and it creates momentum as you dip that front shoulder and as you weight, keep your weight going in. Now I'm gonna hold that momentum right here and that weight forward as I go around that front side turn doing these tic tacs. And eventually you'll be able to yeah some cones over your tic tacs. Hiya! Yo guys, so if you wanna practice your kick turns and your carving turns and your tic tacs, Definitely suggest getting some cones. I bought a pair of these for my skateboarding lessons. I've used them over a couple years. They work great. So I'll put a link below. Yo, as you can see, I'm gonna try to go up towards these cones because I'm gonna go against gravity. But what you know, you're getting good at tic tacs when you can go uphill and just use your timing technique and swing that front shoulder and take out as many cones as you can. Oh yeah. And then back down. Swing around. Back up, tic tac, one more, bam, bam. And over the crack, do that crab walk over the crack. And that's how you get really good at doing your tic tacs, guys. Yo, guys, here's the bonus tip. After you learn how to do the tic tac regular, then you can actually do it switch. You just gotta follow all those steps again. And then once you learn how to do a switch, it's gonna make you such a better rider because you're gonna be able to do tic tacs regular and you're gonna be able to do do them switch, which is a little bit harder, but I've learned them doing lessons. And then you get better on them as you do a slur. If you guys want to see the next video on how to ollie for beginners, just click up here and I'll take you to that playlist.